Welcome to our demonstration on the interoperability between VMware Virtual SAN and VMware vSphere HA. The first step is to enable HA, which is currently turned off. Click on the Edit button and select Turn on vSphere HA. Then, from the list of settings displayed under the checkbox, select Admission Control. It shows that we can tolerate one host failure. Click OK to confirm the settings. Now if we look at our second host, ESX02A, we see that there are two virtual machines on this host, mid-tier A and mid-tier C. Let's select mid-tier A, then select Manage, then VM Storage Policies, and click on Hard Disk 1. We can see in Physical Disk Placement that this virtual machine has got a replica and striped configuration. Let us now reboot our host, ESX02A. This reboot should be a trigger for vSphere HA to restart the virtual machines currently on host ESX02A on other hosts in the cluster. Note that there is no shared storage in this cluster. There is the distributed data store provided by vSAN, which enables any host in the cluster to access any available storage objects. This means that HA and vSAN can interoperate. In other words, HA can restart virtual machines from failed hosts on other hosts in the vSAN cluster. Let's check the state of our host, ESX02A. Select the Summary tab. We can see that there is host connection and power state and vSphere host status errors. We can also observe that the virtual machines are disconnected because the host ESX02A has gone down. This will be the trigger for HA to restart the virtual machines on other hosts in the cluster. Let's do a refresh at this point to confirm the VMs have rebooted and reconnected. Now let us check the summary of VM mid-tier A. We can see that it has been rebooted on host ESX04A. If we select VM mid-tier C, we can observe that it's now coming up on ESX01A. This shows there is full interoperability between vSphere HA and vSAN. This concludes our demonstration on the interoperability between VMware Virtual SAN and VMware vSphere HA. Thank you.